Our global nutrition depends on high input agriculture, with enough water and fertilizer for our plants to grow. These crops are successfully cultivated to gain the highest possible yields under ideal conditions. But they struggle when water is scarce and nutrients are missing. Dr. Misha Ila Dippold started to focus on nutrition and agriculture under not so ideal conditions early on. In her research, she is going back to the roots, literally. I was always fascinated by phenomena in the nature, but very early my focus went towards the special phenomena in the soil. And surely this is related to growing up on a farm where I learned very early that this thin layer that is surrounding our planet is the basis for our nutrition and our global food production. Therefore, she examines old and regional land races in sub-Saharan Africa. These varieties are much better adapted to a lack of water and nutrients than our high yield varieties. We find the reason for this in the so-called rhizosphere, a tiny area of only two to three millimeters around the roots of a plant. We are talking about a complex interaction of processes between the roots and an extremely high diversity of microorganisms that are modifying their environment in chemical, physical and biological way that improves nutrient and water uptake. One of the key phenomena that I will investigate is the mycorrhization, because plants improve their nutrient uptake for magnitudes by um, starting this symbiosis with fungal partners, and these fungal partners take up all those phosphorus sources of very, very low availability where our future crop nutrition will depend on. Dr. Dippold has a degree both in geoecology and biochemistry. In her research on the rhizosphere, she can combine these two fields. Classically, there is a delay of 10 to 15 years until new techniques and new methods developed in biochemistry find their way into the environmental sciences. My main target was to shorten this time and to use novel techniques from biochemistry in the research in soil science and now especially for the research in the rhizosphere. Her research has a concrete goal. It is the basis for a new generation of plants that are much better suited to the effects of climate change and the difficult conditions that already exist in sub-Saharan Africa. If we consider that climate change will induce an increased drought risk in the future, this will strongly affect those semi-arid regions where we have low input farming globally. And especially for sub-Saharan Africa, where we expect the highest population increase in the future, um, the food production is one of the key problems of these countries. And I realized that it is necessary to understand the processes below our feet for feeding this planet and for achieving the zero hunger goal of the United Nations. <laughs>